What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of 75 Outdoors. I'm your host, Noah. And so today we're going to be talking about uh, my the baits I just picked up for the fall time, fall time slash winter time, winter time uh, my rod and reel arsenal, and some of my favorite baits to use during this fall and winter time. All right, so first up, we have a uh, two Juicy Jigs in a Baby Blue, not sorry, not Baby Blue, Blue Crawl and Black and Blue Half Ounce. Uh, and then I got a, a Guga Squad Thick Jig um, in a half ounce in a green pumpkin color. And so I like to use these baits with a trailer that can crack and crawl or a bandito bug on the back of it. I like to use them because you can really hop it up off the bottom very slow because these fish during this time are going to be very lethargic. So they're not going to really want to walk. I mean, sorry, work for the... Um, their food so if you just hop it very slow right in front of them or in the area they'll go and they'll eat it because it's an easy meal and so that which brings us into the next uh next type of bait which is a z-man uh chatterbait the jackhammer and so this bait you can use um because it's got this blade on there it wobbles back and forth and so the fish don't really like a very fast wobble. As I said earlier, they're a very lethargic, so they're not really wanting a really fast wobble. They want something very slow, just moving there. So if you reel it very slow, it's gonna be wobbling back and forth very, very slowly. And so then, which entices the fish, and they're like, hey, I wanna eat this. So the next bait is kinda like a jig, but it's a swim bait. And it's the Dark Sleeper by Mega Bass. And so the first one I got is in the, uh, is is in the dongo color which is like a black and orange alabama crawl type color three-fourths ounce and what you do the same thing with the jig you just sit at the bottom pop and let it go back down and so it looks like it, i mean it looks like a dying fish just hopping up and off the bottom then i like to use uh a ned rig and so if you don't know what a ned rig is it's just a little little jig head with a little bait on the back of it and I like to use the 10,000 fishing Shikoshi bug. And I've only had caught one fish so far with this bait. I haven't had very much luck. And this one is in the, pretty sure it's the twilight color. So it's brown on top, silver, baby blue with a purple and black flake on the bottom. So they're not very big. You can see up next to my finger right there. Uh, they're not very big. And I like, like I said, I like to use these with a net head. Uh, any weight really, you're going to really want to go really finesse during this time period. Um, like I said earlier, the fish are not going to really want to bite. And so, I also went out and picked up some Bem Bug, uh, Bandito Bugs. The Slim Shake Worm, it's a watermelon red. The Yoda, the 10,000 Fishing Yoda Worm, which is actually fairly new, like two months old. And the Texas Crawl Color and the baby trench hog in a alabama crawl color which is green pumpkin on the top uh orange on the bottom and so i picked up all these baits to get ready for the fall season and so really well i'll talk about that in a minute the rod reel arsenal i'm going to be using is the uh corrado dc on a AP Bassin Rod, which is the favorite fishing AP Bassin Rod. It's two piece. Um, this Corrado DC, I was using on the Silverado Ducket Rod. That's what I was using it on. But then I'm like, well, I kind of want, I need something with a little bit faster for my uh, Texas rigs. So I thought, why not just put it on this and use it as a jig rod? You see, I have a jig already tied up from fishing yesterday. So, like I was just saying, the Ducket Silverado is white. Um, well, obviously it's white, and I have a lose mock smash on there. I have saltwater fishing line on there. Um, it doesn't really matter what type of line you use. Really want to go if you're in your fluorocarbon, 15 to 20 braid, 30 to 45, 50 even. Um, really nothing heavier than that with any of these rods and reels some some of them can't even take very heavy line like the corrado i have 50 on there and i spooled it all the way up and i i only get like a maximum cast of distance of like probably 20 35 yards not very far when it's casting and then this is my top water rod even though i'm probably not gonna be able to 
be using it that much during this year, this time period. It's a Berkeley Lightning Rod with a Abu Garcia Black Max on there. And I like to use this. The Black Max doesn't have very high gear ratio. Ratio. It was my very first bait caster. And oh, it's old faithful. It, I mean, it's gone out on me a couple times. Been able to fix it luckily. And that's really what I use my top water. I always have braid tied on that one. I don't know if I've ever put anything else but braid on there. Oh my, my bad, I hit the camera. All right, so my my the fa my favorite baits I really like to use during this time is the the jig, a jig, uh, probably about a green pumpkin or a blue crawl color, half ounce, a thick jig or a juicy jig. Uh, swim jig is really not what you want to use during this time period. I mean, of course you can catch fish. You can catch fish on anything during this time period, but when you want to catch big fish and the most fish possible, you're, you're not going to really want to use a swim jig because unless the only way you can use a swim jig is if you fish it like a juicy jig or a thick jig, which is like a football head jig. You just pop it off the bottom. Pop it, let it swim back down. And so then the grass, the swim jig is not used for what it's meant. The swim jig has that narrow head to cut through everything. So then you're not using it for what you uh, want to use it for. So then you just use a football head jig. And so next I like to use like a crankbait, a shallow diamond crankbait, square bill, preferably because it doesn't get that big of a wobble. When you're, uh, that big of a wobble. Like I said earlier, the fish are very lethargic. They're not really wanting to try that much for their uh, bait. And so you can use that, or you can use a chatterbait. Um, they to sl reel very slow, get that slow wobble, and entice the fish. Reel very slow, get that slow wobble, and entice the fish. And lastly, a spinnerbait by far the best fall slash winter time bait to use. The best one, I think, in my opinion. I had the most luck with it, and the colors I use, sexy, the colors I like to use is like a sexy shad, a uh, white, a chartreuse and white, a uh, dark, dark green uh, for those murky, murky ponds. And so during this time period, what you're really going to use is you're going to really want to match the hatch match the hatch get that in your brain match the hatch because if you're not going to do that then you're not going to catch fish the colors you really want to use is like a, a, a white or a, a crawfish type color because what they're eating right now crawfish and fish and like shad not fish shad minnows they're not really eating baby bass because there's no baby bass there's no such thing as a baby bass during the winter because I mean that that just doesn't happen because they're not spawning and so you're, they're really going to be, and they're not going to be working on frogs on top of the water or something on top of the water eating that. They're really just going to be focused on what's on the bottom or what's injured and swimming by them. So that's why you're really going to want to match the hatch. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Please you hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Um, thanks for watching.